The DF-17 is the first hypersonic glide vehicle equipped missile intended for operational deployment ever tested. China carried out the first flight tests of a new kind of ballistic missile with the hypersonic glide vehicle HGV in November. The first test took place on November 1st and the second test took place on November 15th. The November 1st test was the first Chinese ballistic missile test to take place after the conclusion of the first plenum of the Communist Party of China's 19th Party Congress in October. During the November 1st test flight, which took place from the Jiuquan Space Launch Center in Inner Mongolia, the missile's payload flew to a range of approximately 1,400 kilometers with the HGV flying at a depressed altitude of around 60 kilometers following the completion of the DF-17's ballistic and re-entry phases. Most of the missile's flight time during the November 1st flight test was powered by the HGV during the glide phase, the source said. The missile successfully made impact at a site in Xinjiang province, outside Kimo, within meters of the intended target, the source added. The duration of the HGV's powered flight was nearly 11 minutes during that test. The HGV payload that China tested in November was specifically designed for the DF-17, the source told the diplomat, while noting that parts of the U.S. intelligence community assess that the DF-17 is heavily based on the PLARF's DF-16B shorter-inch ballistic missile, which is already deployed. The missile is explicitly designed for operational HGV implementation and not as a test bed. The source said, describing U.S. intelligence assessments of the DF-17. This was the first HGV test in the world using a system intended to be fielded operationally. The DF-17 is a medium range system, with the range capability between 1,800 and 2,500 kilometers. The missile is expected to be capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional payloads and may be capable of being configured to deliver a maneuverable reentry vehicle instead of an HGV. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe Pack Technology Update channel.